Good morning, Jason. Matt with Muscadel Burns Ford. Uh, showing you a little peek at that 2006 Jeep Grand Cherokee you're looking at, the Overland Edition. Stock number is uh, F4016G. Uh, do a little walk around here for you so you, can, so you can see and get a little look at this vehicle. Uh, very clean one owner vehicle. They just traded in recently here on a new Ford. Um, as you can see, the vehicle was maintained very nice. This hasn't even gone through our recon department. It came in looking this clean. Um, tire tread on this looks very, very good. We've got Wrangler, uh, Goodyear Wrangler HPs on here. Black in color, as you can see, there's really no surface damage to the car. All I can see is a little, little bit of a scrape right there that can be buffed out, no problem. Um, go along the driver's side here, I don't see any dents or dings, scrapes, nothing of the sort. Front tires are the same. Very good tread on there. Chromed out pack in the front, chrome grills, chrome tow hooks, fog lamps, chrome mirrors. You get the roof rack on top. Chromed out wheels. Let's get the chrome strip down the side on the Grand Cherokee here. This side, I don't see too many imperfections. One that does pop at me a little bit is right here. Um, that's another one that's just surface that could probably be buffed out. This one does have the 5.7 Hemi in it for the motor. Let's pop open the door here and take a look at what we got. Key on this vehicle. What she looks like hatch, panic alarm, and door locks. Pop open the door, you get the two tone with wood grain bezel, programmable seats, foldable mirrors, I believe. It is, but how it works is wonder if the vehicle must be running. Uh, power seats. You also have the tri or dual color seats. You have the tannish with the brown inlay. Overland emblem in the back there. Cubby on the left side of the driver's steering wheel here. Um, on the steering wheel, you have cruise control on the left, and on the right is your Excel and D-cell. Miles, we're sitting at about 29,323. Um, this one does come with the six disc uh, GPS CD ROM navigation system in there. Um, below that, you can see that we have the different information center settings. You push those buttons, and it'll actually just change the display here. Just start it up and show you what I mean. No check engine lights, so we're good. Changes it to temperature. You can go through and actually see what we're getting for miles per gallon to empty trips. Tire pressures, all that good stuff is on there. We don't want to switch that though, that wouldn't be good. That's where you can change every good thing right there that you want to. Move on to the next step, we've got dual climate control in here. Uh, heated seats, driver and passenger traction control, adjustable pedals and parking system set up there in the rear. Uh, a few more cup holders, or excuse me, a few more spots to place some stuff. Business cards whatnot, anything you'd like. Another cubby, power port outlets, four wheel drive low switch, uh, cup holders right here in the center, and then the center console with your navigation disc holder right there. You also do have a sunglasses holder up top, home link system built into the head unit, and the sunroof that we got up top here as well. Let's jump out and take a look at the back seat here quick. Back seat, we do have a little bit of storage in the door. Um, seats are the same as the front. We got the dual color. Center here, we do have an armrest, which doubles at a cubby storage right there as well. And then you get your cup holders below on the bottom here that adjust to the different size cup you may have. Folding seats forward. 
this one I have to remember. It's been a while since I've done them. Oh, it's right here, I'm sorry. You grab onto the little tab right there, pull it forward. Seat drops down, headrest retracts and gives you room to drop the seat. Both sides do fold flat, giving you quite a bit of cargo capacity storage in the back here. Let's go pop the hatch up here and see what we got in the rear. In the rear of the Jeep, you do have the ability to pop just the window. So you can place in what you want. You see the privacy covers folded right now. Shut that. Pop the button. And you do have the full rear hatch. Privacy cover folds out of the way. A little bit of storage and mesh netting on the side. Um, there's other netting that can come across. A few different ways to configure the back end here. This piece right here, pop the tabs loose. This is actually storage. Flip it over. You got some stuff to set some different items on. Plus, you do have a little bit of storage underneath here. And then these little deals clip up to set dividers if you'd like to in the back seat here. Um, let me know if you have any more questions on this uh, Jeep Overland. Uh, I believe we have to run it through service and do an oil change, but that's about it. Uh, Jay, let's see. Uh, do one last look at the outside. Feel free to give me an email or call me. My name is Matt Halseth at Muscatel Burns Ford, 701-371-9192. Uh, Thanks for your time, Jason, and have a great day.